This is day four of my Octopus Energy heat pump installation and the job is complete after four days. The head engineer is coming back tomorrow morning just to check everything's gone okay. He's put the Legionnaire um, cycle on tonight uh, so just to make sure everything's working and I'm happy um, but the work's all completed. Um, same times so eight o'clock till about four o'clock they all left. In fact at one point there was seven of them here um, the area manager even turned up um, just to check everything was okay and I was happy. Um, I'm really happy to be honest, the, all the work's really top quality, um, high standard and I'll show you around exactly what's happened and what's been done. I'll start with outside. Okay so here's the heat pump, nothing's really changed on the front, the only change at the back is the um, pipe that goes to the drainage for the drip tray. Take the other side. All labelled up. The lagging, as some people might be happy, is complete. And I think it's a really neat job. All the way up. So I should take it out. Okay, I'm gonna let the dog escape in. All the way along, up to the top. That's where the cupboard is in there. This pipe, I didn't spot it the other day, but this is a um, pressure release, I believe. It comes all the way down to the bottom there. There's cables as well. Um, I've got an EV charger at the back, so one of the cables is that, but the, the other ones are from the heat pump. Take it around the front. Cable and runs around there. That's the temperature monitor for the external temperature for the heat pump. And down at the bottom, that's it's changed over the box there. And that's where my EV um, charge actually comes into that as well. I'll take you upstairs now. Okay, so in the office again, and into the cover where the cylinder is. So it's because it's all now lagged as well. The dog are there. All nicely lagged everywhere. So I'm really happy with the quality of the, the job they've done in here as well. It's the control there. You can see the various temperatures at the moment. Uh, the hot water is at 59, that's only because they were testing it. Uh, one period bar, 28 degrees. And the floor temperature is 28 at the moment. Outside temperature is 16. I've got that linked now as well to the, um, the app, the Dakin app. There's the temperature, current temperature there. So I've got mine set to 20 um, till about 8 o'clock. Now I've got a setback temperature of 18. I'll take up in the loft now. And into the loft. So as you can see, all the lagging's been finished. Nice and tidy. Uh, the volumizer, I'll get it right this time. Uh, they've actually um, expanded, formed the flue from the old gas boiler. Just to stop birds and things getting in. There, as you can see, it's all been finished off, nice and neat. So happy with that as well, really good. Okay, I'll take you downstairs now and explain a bit more. Okay, just a few final points to mention before I wrap up the video. Um, I don't think I mentioned in the first video, but the team actually put down floor protection everywhere they're working, um, rubber mats um, up the stairs, um, every room they're working in um, under radiators and things. Um, then before leaving, they, they took them all up, tidied up, vacuumed the area. Um, in fact, I think they left it tidy than what it was before um, they arrived, to be honest. Um, the lead installer, he then showed me how to use the Madoga controller. Um, he helped, helped us set up the heating schedules from day and the night. Um, what else we do? We enable the weather compensation, um, because that's apparently the most efficient way to use a heat pump. Um, so overall, I'm, I'm really pleased with the work done. I 
highly recommend Octopus. Um, if you're considering getting it done, um, I would, yeah, go with them. Um, I think I might do a few more videos in the coming weeks just to update on how it, the experience has gone with the heat pump, um, any issues I've had, if I've had to ring them at all. Um, what else? Uh, final tip, stock up on plenty of biscuits. Um, and crisps, especially McCoy's crisps, go down very well. You just leave them next to the heat pump and they, they disappear. I presume it was them taking it. Um, okay, that, that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye.